when the Head Start program was founded, the hope was that it would prepare children, disadvantaged children, so that when they started school, they wouldn't fall behind. That makes a lot of sense because there are enormous gaps between children before they ever get to kindergarten. So the idea was to remediate some of those gaps. Now, the initial research was kind of discouraging, and what they would see was that, well, there was an initial boost in the PESS scores, but then by about third grade, they didn't see any difference between treatment kids and control kids. In my work on the subject, I found several interesting things. So one was that if you looked by race, you saw fade out in the test scores for black children, but not for white children. I showed subsequently that that probably had to do with the kind of schools that they were attending afterwards. That was actually a really important finding given the previous research that was only focused on these test scores. But then when you follow the kids for longer, you do see that they're more likely to stay in school, they're more likely to get higher education, and they have better outcomes. These findings were used to justify expanding the Head Start program and also starting state programs.